Right then, right then. It's 10 to 3 uh, at the time of recording on the, I keep checking, 29th of January. So if you watch my last video, it was a talking about the uh, Poisson distribution model and I used the championship 2021-22 as an example data set. Uh, we looked at this Huddersfield example from last night, which amazingly came in completely with the goal, um, the scoreline and the result. Uh, and I said that I've got it all done for the next uh, matches, which kick off at three o'clock. So here they are. Now, I didn't go to as much detail as in the previous one in terms of showing you the the graphs and the, the percentages and stuff. I've condensed it because it would have took absolutely ages. So I'll talk you through. So in the first fixture, we've got QPR versus Reading and the distribution model predicts that QPR would be a home winner here um, and it predicts you should be looking for odds of about 1.79 so anything better than that is good value. Um, it predicts that there'll be under two and a half goals uh, and its favourite score I've put for Dutch in score so um, that's a whole other video but if you are looking it's it's a one of my favourite trading strategies is to, once you've got some data on what you think, um, once you've done some research on the correct scores, you can put some bets on or some trades on the, a few different correct scores and trade it throughout the throughout the game, depending on how it progresses. And you can make quite a tidy profit doing that. With People often use about five score lines. I've just done three here, uh, and I find I like, I like to use three. If, um, if I've done some research, because obviously it increases the profit the less you put in, if you can get it right. So the three in order of um, percentage, the three most likely outcomes for the game, according to the model, are a 1-0 QPR win, a 2-0 QPR win, or a 1-1 draw. So next we've got Millwall West Brom, and we've got West Brom to win this one at 264 so they're the odds you should be using as a gauge, according to the model. I'm not saying you should, but I'm, you know, uh, it's saying under 2.5 goals again, and the most likely score lines are nil nil, nil one, or one nil. So a real tight one there. So I mean, I think the draw looks good there in in terms of looking at the the stats. But I'm just showing you the highest number highlighted. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you should not interrogate the rest of the figures. And if you've got a draw at 3.08, I mean that looks looks good to me. But whatever. Middlesbrough Coventry, uh, Middlesbrough at 2.18, under two and a half goals, and then the most likely score lines, 1-1, one, 1-0 one, one, or 2-1. Um, Hull versus Swansea, we've got Swansea, the away win at 2.27. It won't take into account the new manager bounce with Shutter Avalanti taking over at Hull, whether that will have an effect, I don't know. Under 2.5 goals, 1-0 Swansea, 1-1 one, one, or 1-0 one, Hull, so a very tight one again. Fulham Blackpool, um, as you'd expect, 1.41 to Fulham. Very long odds on the draw or Blackpool. We've got it to predict over two and a half goals for the first time, which isn't a surprise. 2-1, 2-0 or 3-1, which I think looks you know, pretty accurate. I know they've been scoring over six for the last few games, but they they can be got at, so I wouldn't be surprised if they conceded. So, I mean, yeah, 3-1 looks nice. Um, Barnsley, Bournemouth. We've got a heavy favourite of Bournemouth. Um, 1.44 is the away win. Under two and a half goals, so it's looking 1-0 Bournemouth, 2-0 Bournemouth or 0-0. Preston versus Bristol, we're looking at a home win, 1.96. Over two and a half goals, 2-1 Preston, 1-1 or 2-2. Luton Blackburn, away win to Blackburn. It was dead evens, 50-50 on the uh, overs, so yeah, I'll probably leave it alone. 1-1, um, 0-1 one, one, one or 1-2. One, and then finally, Peterborough Sheffield United, which is the evening game, I think. The Sheffield United away win, it's predicting at 2.39. It's saying under two and a half goals and the most likely score lines 1-1, one, 1-2. One, one, so 2-1 to Sheffield United or 1-0 to Sheffield United. So just a real quick video to show you those before three o'clock. Uh, and we'll come back and have a look and see how they got on, if you like, uh, and see if there's any accuracy there at all. Um, and I, I certainly think the Dutch, in the Dutch in the scores would be a good bet. Um, rather than straight going for the win draw um, market but yeah so have a look at that and, and we'll come back and see how it got on